Hello learners, today we will show how can we perform Darwin Watson test for detecting autocorrelation problem. One of the important assumption for OLS model is that independent error. That means for any two observations, the residual terms should be uncorrelated or independent. Violation of this assumption results autocorrelation problem. So autocorrelation, it is a situation where observations are related to each other across time or space. We can identify autocorrelation problem by performing Darwin Watson test statistics. So today we will discuss how can we perform this Darwin Watson test statistics using SPSS. So this is an SPSS data file. You can see that uh, there is some historical data about GDP, export and population from the year 1992-2017. So we want to find out how export and population these two variables whether these two variables has influence on the GDP so GDP will be dependent variables where export and population will be our independent variables we are assuming that our time series data are stationary so we can perform OLS so you go to the analyze and you see there is a regression go to the regression and linear option uh, in this box you need to select your dependent variable which is GDP in this case and our two independent variable one is export and another one is population and then you need to go to this statistics option so if you go to this statistics option there is an option of darwin watson under residual so you need to click that one continue and okay so you will get the regression results and under this regression results you can see under this model summary there is a darwin watson test statistic value so this is the calculated value and this is 0.68 in our case the next question is how can you sure that whether there is an autocorrelation problem so there is some decision criteria based on which we can say whether there is autocorrelation problem exists or not so what are these decision criteria uh, decision criteria criteria is like that uh, when your Darwin test is statistics which we are actually denoting by D smaller D so if it is, is equal to 2 so we say there is no autocorrelation problem and if your this test is statistics is less than 2 we say there is positive autocorrelation and if it is greater than 2 we say there is a negative autocorrelation However, uh, there is a rule of thumb that if your test statistic values in the range of 1.5 to 2.5, uh, then we can say it is relatively less problematic. So values outside of this range could be cause for concern. And if you remember that we get our Darwin Watson test value is 0.68. So if it is 0.68 that means it is less than 2 so there is a problem of positive autocorrelation however for a particular given significance level we can also test positive or negative serial correlation or autocorrelation uh, in that case our decision criteria will be like this one so you need to you need to compare your test statistics with the table value of Darwin Watson test. So, if you see the table value, uh, 
a table value like this one so this is the Darwin Watson test statistics table value so you need to compare your Darwin Watson test statistics value with this table value and how to make the decision using this table value this is an important table and here are two things you need to remember one is k another one is n so k means number of independent variables which is in our case is 2 that is we get before export and population and n means number of observations so if, if you see this data you see we have total 28 observation now if you can remember that we get the darwin watson test statistics 0.68 and we have two independent variables so our k is equal to 2 and we have total 28 observation so this is the 28 observation now you need to find out your test statistics value in this table so this is the lower bound and this is the upper bound so if you can remember that your test statistics value is 0.68 which is lower than your lower bound of table value of Darwin Watson test statistics so the lower bound of this table value you see 1.25 and your test statistic value is 0.68 which is lower than this one here we are actually considering 5% significance level and there are some other table which shows you at 1% significance point or 10% significance point so we are considering in case of 5% significance level. So in case of 5% significance level, we find that our Darwin Watson test statistics is lower than lower bound of this table value of Darwin Watson statistics. So you see that if it is lower than lower bound, then we can say the error terms are positively autocorrelated. However, there are some other criteria like if it is greater than the upper bound, then we can say the error terms are not positively autocorrelated. And if it is in between um, lower and upper bound, then we can say the test is inconclusive. And there are some other criteria in case of negative serial correlations. You can see you need to deduct your test statistics for 4. And then you compare this value with the lower bound and upper bound and this decision is given here so by following this we can identify whether there is autocorrelation problem and if there is autocorrelation problem whether it is positively autocorrelated or negative autocorrelated 